everyone. Uh, Kyle Anderson here, the associate pastor at PCOL. Uh, Ezekiel 37 uh, is a passage I've been thinking about lately. It was uh, actually one of our lectionary texts for uh, worship yesterday, and uh, though we didn't preach on it, I think it's definitely applicable to our uh, curtain, current context. That passage recalls a dream uh, that was given to the prophet Ezekiel by God. It's that uh, Valley of Dry Bones dream. Perhaps you're uh, familiar with that. I'll include a link below uh, if you'd like uh, to read that on your own. Um, but this vision, this dream that is given to Ezekiel is uh, actually a message of hope uh, to an otherwise hopeless people. These, these were folks who were in exile. They were far away from their home, uh, separated from their culture and their religious traditions and, and everything uh, that they knew. Uh, they were forced uh, to define a new normal. Uh, they were forced to change and, and to adapt. Uh, perhaps that's something um, we can relate to uh, today. Uh, this is a message to a people whose lives, quite frankly, were hard. Uh, and uh, in many ways, as evidenced by this image of the Valley of Dry Bones, uh, this felt like a, a kind of death of sorts. There was a, a sense that their lives were over uh, because they were in exile. There was a sense that there was just no hope for the future. And in many ways, I think uh, they certainly felt that they had been cut off uh, from God. That they were alone. But, uh, but the beauty of this passage is that God, through this vision, declares that, in fact, their lives are not over. God declares that this valley of dry bones, these dry bones would once again live, that God has not uh, forsaken them, but rather God remembers them. God never uh, forgot God's people and that God was going to see them through this difficult time. The people of God were not lost. They were not cut off from God. The same God that breathed life into their very bones was still breathing, even in this difficult time. In Hebrew, the word is ruach. It's, uh, it's one of my favorite Hebrew words, and it, it means both breath and spirit. I think the ancient Hebrews knew something that sometimes I think we forget, and that's those of us who have breath also have spirit. This whole uh, coronavirus pandemic has uh, left us in many ways feeling like we're in exile, far away from uh, everything that we know from our uh, routines, from our support communities, certainly from one another, forced to change, forced to develop new normals, forced to adapt. Um, but don't be fooled. That's my encouragement today. Don't be fooled for when uh, we have this breath spirit within us, we are whole. Wherever we are, we are whole. And so I'd invite you now to take a deep breath with me. With every life-giving breath that we take, we're reminded that we're not cut off from God. We're reminded that we're not cut off from one another. With every life-giving breath that we take, we're reminded that God is with us. By the Holy Spirit, we are with one another, and God will see us through. And so until we're able uh, to be together again, keep breathing. Breathe in deeply. Stay safe. Be healthy. God bless. Mm -hmm.